one, I have a duck. I've yet to name him, so if you want to name him, then comment names in the comment section. Two. I originally had an outfit video planned for you guys. However, I'm sick. And I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm just sick. I've been sick for about a week. I've got a while to go. But I'm trying. And I'm here. We took a break last week because of the holidays. We'll take a break in a couple weeks because of the holidays. And I didn't want to take a break this week. However, I'm a day late. So I'm sorry. But let's talk. <sighs> so this is going to be kind of like a weird video for me. I don't feel 100% comfortable talking about this because I know that some people are going to get offended and I know that there's going to be some backlash but I want to talk about elitism in the gothic subculture with you guys today. One thing that I think needs to be talked about is how everything goes about it. In my mind, and you can disagree, we can disagree, but that doesn't mean we have to be rude about it. The gothic subculture is not just about fashion. It's not, and it never has been. Fashion's cool, but it's about the music. And it's about finding beauty in the darkness. One thing that I think stands out very well in history is Persephone. She is the goddess of spring, but queen of the underworld. Someone doesn't have to look the way that we do, or the way that I do, to be considered goth. And it's okay for everyone to not understand this. And it's okay for newcomers to not completely get it. But what's not okay is to exclude people. What's not okay is to talk down to people because they don't know better. What you should do is teach them. And that's really all we can do, is teach people and let people learn. Because no one is ever finished learning. The elitism that I've seen in multiple different gothic pages is honestly quite annoying because it's just telling someone to leave. It's telling someone to give up and that they'll never be included. And that's terrible. That's awful. And that scares people away from the subculture and something that they love. It's not right. So, one thing that we should do is think about how you want to be represented by yourself. Because not only whenever you are meeting these people that are not in your community, that are trying to be, are you representing your community through their eyes. You're representing yourself. And that's how people remember you. And that's how people remember our subculture. As rude. And inclusive. And cool. When in reality, most of the people that I've met are very open-hearted, very kind, and very much wanting others to learn. So that way the subculture doesn't die. I think our subculture is awesome when you get to know the truth and when you get to know everything. I've been making videos on here for over six years now and some of my videos are loved by the elitists. Some of them are hated and it doesn't matter because there's something that I like and I love informing the newcomers. So I think that from now on, if you see a newcomer and they have some misinformation, you should teach them. Show them what it's like. No, it's not a long video. Might not even make 100% sense because I'm sick. But as a subculture and as a community, we need to have a bigger open variety 
a little bit more open of a heart. I've had a lot of people come to me saying that they feel like they can't be a part of our subculture because they don't dress this way every day because they listen to more than one genre of music. And that's not correct. It's not. If they don't want to identify as it, that's fine. But to not feel included in a community because you don't do two things, it's ridiculous. Because I can tell you, half the time, I do not look like this. I only look like this right now because I didn't feel like answering my door for the delivery person looking wrecked because I did look wrecked <sighs> have a great week you guys I'd love to see more people being included in our community and I'd love to see more creative minds flowing through here as always leave a comment saying what you think Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. You're always welcome to come join the family. Let's keep our minds a little open. Bye, guys.